everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Emergency Call 112 here. Uh, this has been highly re requested again. Uh, apparently you guys wanted to do some more missions. I did a video a couple weeks ago I think it was. And there was definitely more people wanting to, uh, for me to play this again. So we're going to go ahead and do one more video now. This is probably going to be the last one before FS19 comes out. Before we get going, from our now the channel's official sponsor, Instant Gaming. Make sure you check out the link in the description box down below the Instant Gaming link to get Farming Simulator 19 or any game of your choice for a cheaper rate than you would do on Steam, for example. Once again, links in the description box down below. Let's jump into the video. Right, guys, we've got our first call out here. This is truck fire. We've got the water tender and the fire engine going out to this. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and... How do we be the driver? I forgot which one it is. Uh, no, 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 head. Fire engine driver. There we go. So we're going to drive to the location and then we'll switch roles to the attack squad leader so we actually get to put out the fire. Let's go ahead and jump into that. Awesome. So I hope you guys are well. Sorry it's been a while since I've done my video. You guys don't know, I was uh, in Manchester, United Kingdom, watching uh, Monday Night Raw, WWE Monday Night Raw, which is really cool. So I've been away for a while, but we are now back, ready to jump into this. I tried to record some farm sim earlier, but um, the game crashed, and then I sort of lost my temper with it. But why are we walking? That was, it started going really slow then. But let's go ahead and jump into the fire engine. We are in LF24. All right, we'll jump in like this. We're going to go ahead and use uh, the interior camera. Let's get the engine on first of all. We want dipped headlights just in case. We're going to put our blues on. And we are good to go. We're not going to put our siren on just yet. In fact, though, we will now because it's quite busy out on these roads. And it looks like we're heading left. Right, so we are now arriving on scene. Let's go ahead and park up right behind the uh, van here. This is the big boss man in front here, the command vehicle. So we just need to wait for the water tender to arrive as well. We'll keep our lights on, of course. Make sure the siren's off, though, and here comes the ambulance just behind. Wait till all personnel have arrived. And we're good to go. Let's go ahead and press that to start this. And we'll jump out of the fire engine. So once again, we want to go ahead and change now to attack squad leader. Um, F2? Possibly this one. Right, so here's the, uh, the fire on the truck. Looks like it's been an engine fire. Pro possibly a failed radiator or something. I don't know. Maybe a leaking pipe. So we, actually, we haven't actually got any jobs just yet. There we go. Go to b hose. There's our first job. Let's go ahead and collect the b hose out of the back of here. Pick up b hose. Go to position here. And we'll put that down. Use B-Hose, uh, which is unwind. And then some of those is going to carry on from here. Right, go to C-Hose carrying basket, which is just over here. We're going to try and do this one in third person. I do like the animations on this game. Just sometimes the controls tend to be a little bit wonky. So the fire is getting a little bit bigger there by the look of it. Go ahead and plop that down. We're going to go ahead and open that. Once again, he's going to hook things up. Now, I want to make sure I'm the proper guy for the job here. He's actually going to be doing... Uh, is it F3? Okay, it's F3. So what we want to do is pull out device compartment. We want to pull out the expanding foam chamber. We'll carry this round to the end of this pipe here. So we're going to be using expanding foam on this truck right now. We've already got our gas mask and uh, helmet on here. He did that before we took control of him. And with that being said, let's start putting up this fire. We'll do this in at first person first of all. Stand back a little bit just in case. Extinguish the fire we are doing. What does the uh, white mouse click do on this? Say, I think it does the same thing on the foam cannon. But for those you don't know, if you have the normal water cannons on this game, left mouse is the water stream, and right mouse is like the spray. Uh, but for the foam cannon, it looks like it just does one thing, so it doesn't matter too much. Let's go ahead and get this corner down here, so it looks like it's ignited. I think it's just smouldering at this point. Let's make sure we can put this out. Let's get around this side a little bit here. So hopefully the driver got out okay. I can't actually see him standing around, so I'm sure he's been taken to hospital or just been moved on by the police whilst we put this out. There's no one in the cab, so there's nothing like that. Let's 
Okay, so the truck fire is now out. Um, pretty messed up. You can see the uh, tires all worn away there. I think the, also the suspension's collapsed because, of course, the truck would be on uh, airbags, maybe? Maybe not. I don't really know the truck this size. Can't say I've ever had experience. We're going to drop the hose here. We're going to go ahead and plop that down. Remove sea hose. What we're going to do first of all is take off. Oh, we can't do it because he put it on automatically. We can't actually take the um, gas mask off manually, which is a bit annoying. Remove sea hose in. We're going to drop that on the ground. And disconnect this one as well. Pop that on the ground. Go to position. I think I know what this wants me to do. There we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick this up. Put it back into the engine. So yeah, we got off with a pretty big one. I don't think we actually did any fires last video. Right, so that's now put away. Let's wait for them to put that on the back. And I, uh, where are we actually? I can't remember this car. I think we are in the engine, but I think we're now got a passenger. So let's go ahead and jump back in to the fire engine here. Get in to the back of it. I'm head back to the station and get another job. Okay, so we just got a small fire now. This is going to be a, quite a short one, like I say. Hopefully it's not too far away, because I don't want this to be 90% driving. So it's only a waste slash skip fire. So it's going to be quite a small one. We only need the water tender. Um, so we're going to go ahead and drive once again, just to give us something to do. Um, so we're going to be in the small fire engine now. For those of you that missed the last video, or any previous video of this on my channel, um, we did do a vehicle tour um, last time, just to give an update of the new updates and stuff. Or to keep you guys updated with the new update and stuff like that. Uh, we've surprisingly not used the, the CAF vehicle today. Usually we have to use that a lot, but um, we're we taking that one or this one. I believe this is one over here. Um, let's jump into it. He's actually beat us there. Right, let's jump in to the fire engine right now. Sorry, the water tender, if you want to be technical. Let's get the engine turned on. Uh, we want depth headlights four. Blue lights once again, which is three. And we'll get the sirens on. So it looks like we're heading out right this time. And then straight away right again. So like I said, I'm hoping this one's just around the corner. Let's go ahead and change this to en route to scene. I didn't actually mean to turn that off. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. Nothing's coming. The AI traffic's a little bit harsh on this game. Like They won't stop for you unless you give them time to stop. Like They won't see you coming, if that makes sense. They wait until you're right next to them. Oh, we're at scene already. So let's go ahead and park the engine on the pavement here. Lex is usually parking on the road, but seeing as it's only one of us today, we'll park wherever we want. Maybe it's not going to let me, actually. Maybe we have to park on the road. Yeah, we do. We have to park on the road. That sucks a little bit. It's going to pull up a little bit more forward, though. Like, here will do nicely. Let's jump out of here. Now, we want to quickly change roles. F4, squad leader. Now, I'm going to do everything myself, so we can't put the helmet on, but what we can do is put the respirator on. Let's go ahead and pull that out. We'll put that on there. So, that's how you do it manually, for those of you that are wondering. Uh, we should have actually turned the fire engine around, because the hose pipe's actually on this side here. So, we're going to go ahead and pull this out. We'll head over to here. This should be out pretty quickly. Uh, I'll just quickly show you what I was on about in the last video, in the last instance. Here's the spray, here's the actual stream, and this is the spray. So the spray would be for like, getting rid of smoke and stuff when you're inside buildings, I assume. Because um, it doesn't actually have much effect on the fire per se. But let's go ahead and try to put this fire out real quick. Yeah, this is going to be quite a short one, like I said, so I'm not going to spend too much time here. Just going to get it out, get back to the station, and hopefully do a better job. Right, okay, so we have now finished putting out that fire. It took a little bit longer than I was expecting, actually. We're probably going to cut most of that out. It was just a lot of fighting going on with that fire. So we're going to go ahead and put down this a second. Let's get the respirator off so we can actually work properly. And we will uh, put that in, like so. And then close roller gate. Why? Close roller gate? Why? Hang on a minute. Put this up. I don't think that's worked properly. Put that back into the roller gate. There we go. That's how you do it. Now he's going to close the roller gate. Uh, we've got to do this one on the side by the look of it. Let's go ahead and pull that down. And we're done. Let's go back to the station here. And uh, hopefully we'll get a more interesting job next time. 
Right, curious, we have quite a big one here. This is a road traffic accident. Three person, uh, no, road traffic accident, three person trap. So we actually have to cut somebody out of this one, I believe. And uh, should we drive this one as well? Yeah, we'll drive it. We, I like driving there. I just don't like driving back because you have to abide by the actual uh, traffic laws and stuff. Uh, where are we? We're going the wrong way, first of all. Let's head around this way here. Head down to the fire engine. They can't go without me anyway, so they gotta wait. So yeah, we've done this one before, but usually the scenario was kind of different. It's like different car, different um, a number of people trapped, all that good stuff. So I'm hoping this is going to be pretty interesting. Let's slide down our pole right here. Um, heading to LF24, my favorite one personally here, which is this one right here. Once again, if you missed my last video, these are actually in Germany. It's crazy. I actually saw these in real life. I know they were, but it was weird seeing them in real life when I went to uh, FarmCon. We'll jump into this. They've already turned the lights on, which is strange. Thank you very much for that, whoever did that. Right, um, dipped headlights, which is four. Turn them back on, three. And where are we heading? We're heading left, first of all. So let's go ahead down here. I don't think this one's too far. Ambulance nearly cut us up then, but that's fine. Let's put our air horn on here whilst we go through the junction. That's not something we use in the UK. Someone did say that in my last video. You're meant to use that when you go through the traffic lights. That's not what we do in the UK. I know this is Germany, where this is based, but um, when you do it in the UK, it's a different tone. So, for example, we got, like, this one's a different siren to us anyway, but then you have, like, a faster one. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a, a, a bleepy one? I really don't know how to explain it. I'm sure you've heard it, though. All right, here's the actual accident. We're going to go ahead and park right about here. Get the siren off. I don't think we need that on anymore. Why is it night time? Dang it. Right, so I put the torch on so you guys see a little bit. I will tweak this in um, Premiere so we can see a little bit better. But we're going to go ahead and put this down over here. I'm not sure why we have the gas mask on. We don't actually need that. Um, but here we go. We're going to give you guys a little insight view here. And we're going to try and find out what role we can actually be. Uh, that's actually going to be doing stuff. So I believe that guy, he's got... Okay. So first of all, they're putting the wheel chocks down. Let's actually change to attack squad leader real quick. Uh, attack section leader, it's called now. Here we go. Uh, how do we put the torch on? It was back quote. There we go. So he's going to be actually wedging the door open by the look of it. I feel like a TV camera doing this. Uh, I want to actually do some... Uh, Chores and life stuff. It's you. Right, quick. Who are you? We want to be you. Here we go. We've got him. So we're going to go ahead. So we're going to go ahead and cut this open here. We'll bend the door open like so. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and spread. We're going to go ahead and spread the door off here so that someone else can cut the hinges with the jaws of life. Which is somebody else doing that. Here's the jaws of life coming now. So I'm going to go to first person and show you this. Um, I'm going to stay with this one because this one gets used a bit more. As you can see, he's cut the door off there. And then he's just put them down again, basically. Now, he's actually going to be smashing this door open here. We're going to do the same thing on this door, I believe. Yeah, there we go. So he's using the crowbar to wedge the door open. And then I'm going to come in. Move out of the way. Hello. Move out of the way, man. Thank you. All right, now we're going to use this. Let's do it in uh, third person. There we go. And once again here, we'll get that taken off. And then once again, the Jaws of Life going to come in. And, um... I don't know, we're using the Jaws of Life this time. So now we're switching to this. So we're going to use the Jaws of Life. And I believe we are either cutting... Well, we're going to be cutting a door off. But then I also believe it's going to be us chopping the roof off. Which is going to be interesting. So we do actually cut the roof off. Let's go ahead and chop that off like that. Cool. So the one with the red cable is the Jaws of Life, and one with the yellow cable is the Spreader. And we've got that guy there waiting with a hose pipe just in case it goes off in flames. And we've also got a guy there with a fire extinguisher as well. Who do you, mate? You don't look very stuck to me, if I'm being completely honest. But who am I to judge? So there's the blanket, which means one thing. This guy is going to be smashing the windows. There's no sound effects still on this, which is a little bit disappointing. I really want them to add a sound effect for the smashing glass. Right. There's us back up again, which is why I didn't swap to that guy, because we get the fun bit of actually cutting the roof. So we're going to go ahead and position ourselves like so. Right, we'll cut this. 
By the way, sorry if you're getting quite a lot of jump cuts on the video. Um, I've been trying to hide it, but basically there's an issue with this game as of late, and it's not the game. I don't know what it's called. It might, it might be GeForce or something, but the mouse is, like, not connected to the game. So every time I scroll too far to the left, it, like, um, puts the mouse on one of the other screens, which gets very annoying. So as soon as I click the mouse button, it, like, minimizes the game, so... I do apologize about that. There's that cut. Right, let's head over to... Here. That will cut yet. Yeah, there we go. I have to do this. Let's do this middle section here. And finally, this section. Oh, I didn't minimize that time. Fantastic. There we go. And I'm not sure the roof would just do that in real life. But who am I to judge? I'm pretty sure someone would have caught that in real life, but never mind. So now what? Wait further instructions. So once again, this will be a little bit brighter in Premiere. There's the uh, paramedic, or doctor, it says on his chest. So he's the other two occupants of the car crash. Uh, he's out. They still haven't fixed, not fixed it. There's nothing wrong with it, but I did say in the... A few months ago now, I think they should do it so he gets taken away in a stretcher. So at the moment, he sort of just gets let out and then walks away, which makes it a little bit, a little bit weird. I think as soon as you chop someone out of the car, they should be put onto a stretcher and then taken away in the ambulance back there. But never mind. So someone's going to be sweeping this up now. Can we actually do that? Let's go ahead and who's going to be doing that? Oh, who's grabbing the broom? Let's have a look here. So we can change once again to anybody we want at the scene. Is it the F2? Okay, it is F2. Right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and... Like so. Go to roller gate. Stow broom in the roller gate, which is here. Let's go ahead and put that away. Like so. We're going to go ahead and push... Oh, no, we can't put it in yet because these guys are putting the jaws away. Cool, now we can put it in, like so. Anything else need to go away? I believe that might be it. Oh no, there's this. Who needs to still get the sink out? Oh, I'll put it in, never mind. Let's close the roller gate. And I think we'll go back to the station now, as soon as these guys put the hose pipes back on to the fire engine. Awesome, so let's jump back in, and we'll probably do one more job if we have time. I'm going to quickly skip through these to make sure, see if we can get a good one for the last one. But yeah, hopefully I'll make it, be, I'll make it day uh, daytime as well, so I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, everybody, so we actually got a good one for the last time. This is a building fire, so hopefully we're actually going to get to see some uh, some stuff. Seeing as we've got the rear mount ladder, we're going to go ahead and drive that, because I don't think we've actually driven that for a while. Um, I don't know why these guys are sat up here in the dark. Um, it's still nighttime, unfortunately, but like I said, I will uh, fix that in Adobe Premiere, so it will be lighter for you guys than it is for me in-game currently. But yeah, we're going to be driving the ladder truck now, which is good. I don't think we've driven it for a long, long time, so... It was requested in the last video, but we didn't have any jobs with the uh, ladder truck. So let's go ahead and jump into the driver's seat of this. Like so. There's only two people in this one. All right, let's jump into her. We'll get the engine on. We'll get the dipped headlights on. We'll get the blue lights on like so. And we'll head out. Who's going first? We're going to go ahead and do en route to scene here. We're en route to the scene. There we go. So we wanted the uh, LF24 to go first. Oh, there we go. They're waiting for the uh, Mercedes Sprinter. That was why we were waiting there for a bit. Why has our dip headlights gone off four? The lights aren't working on the back of this thing. I've just realised. They work on the front, but not the back. Right, so you can see we've got... The interior is the same, but we can see the ladder sticking out the top there. Um... So we've got the full convoy out in full swing now. We've got pretty much everything that we've got, apart from the cafe vehicle and also the other water tender. So pretty much everything's out at this point. And it is just getting daytime as well, so it's going to be a good time for setting up. Let's start indicating this way. So yeah, the, the rear lights aren't working on this thing. It's pretty strange. 
Well, the turning circle, this thing's bad. Right, here's the, um... Here's the location. Go ahead and turn into here. It's not actually that bad at turning, you just need to make sure you brake at the same time. It's not like the other fire engines where you can just wing it around the corners. Right, let's go ahead and stop about... Oh, are we turning? Oh, we're going around this corner, okay. Right, we'll stop about here. I don't think this is actually going to be used. I think this is in case the fire spreads. So what we're going to do real quick now is go to... Oh, sure, we need to wait until we uh, have all personnel here, which is just the ambulance we're waiting for at this point. Return. There we go. We're going to go to LF24, which is F3, I believe. Okay, maybe not. Uh, F2. There we go. Attack section leader, F2. So we're now going to be hopefully doing this one. In fact, we might even be the water attack leader for this one. But it looks like this is the door we're going to be going through here. Possibly. And once again, I don't personally know. Let's go ahead and open the gate. I'm not sure if we're going to be needing this, but just about everything ready to go just in case. Go to B-Hose, which is down here. We'll pick this up. Go to position, which is around the front here. Let's go ahead and drop it down. So it's getting daytime now, which is cool. Let's go ahead and unwind this. Uh, go to B hose. Where's B hose? Am I being blind? Oh, it's open the fire engine. There we go. Right, so we're going to go ahead and pull this one out here. Drop it down there. Put down and use. Go to hose C carrying basket, which is on the other side here. Um, why is it giving us the option of two? Hello, compartment. That's the wrong compartment. So. Uh, hosty carrying basket? That's the wrong one. Oh no, we can use any of them. I didn't realise. The wrong one was highlighted, but never mind. Let's go ahead and plop that down there like that. Um, opens like that. Put that one up. So we are the wrong person here. Let's see if we can be the, the proper guy that's going to be going in. Once again, I'm going to take off the respirator and get the one out manually, just for a bit more realism, if I can remember where it is. I think it's in the middle section here. Yes, it is. Okay, let's go ahead and open that. Pick up the respirator here. Let's get... Nope, wrong one. Let's pick up the, uh, the hose. We're getting quite bad FPS, but there's going to be quite a lot going on in here, I think. Uh, we need to connect this to the end of this. Nobody's reported missing. Why can't I connect this up? Maybe the fence is getting in the way. There's a bit of a chain fence there. Yes, it was. Right. We're now good to go in. Uh, execute fire attack. Right, we're going to go in first person for this here. Not sure what building... Oh, it's this building. Right. Can I hear fire? Or is that just my imagination? Open flat door. Okay. We're going to be searching the property here. Open that door. Bedroom is clear. Uh, oh, I can see the fire. Right, it's in the front room. It's got a living room. Looks like the couch is on fire. We'll find, try and find out what happened to this in a second. Oh, we actually got something quite early. We actually put it out already. Are you kidding me? But something on the um, the sofa caught fire. Look, it could have been a cigarette. Oh, it's something there. What is that? There's something on the sofa that caught fire. I don't know if you guys can see that. What is it? Cigarette, maybe? Who knows? But there we go. It wasn't actually that bad. We managed to get to that one pretty quickly. Because it's only... Uh, like a cloth sofa, a bit of fabric obviously, it wasn't that hard to extinguish. Um, let's go ahead and pop this down the stairs though. Cool, so that was quite a short one. Um, I was expecting that one to be pretty hard to attack, but never mind. There we go, we actually had a building fire for once. Um, let's go ahead and put that down. We're going to go ahead and remove that. Put that down. Uh, we'll put this back in the... I don't know. Hang on, I've got to take the nozzle off. My bad. Put that down. Right, before we do that, let's take the respirator off. Um, there's another guy there with a the respirator on. But ours lives here. There we go. Uh, he's going to put that away. Right, now we can pick this up and put it back where we found it, which was over here. Awesome. I think that's everything. That was pretty quick to put everything away. I wish they put it out that quickly. Are we done? I believe we're done. 
Could a vehicle door go to, uh, as a passenger? But there we go, that's that one done. Thank you very, very much for joining me in this episode. It's been quite a short one, but you guys did ask for me to do more of this, so I'm going to try and do more of it. Uh, how about you turn the flashlight off? There we go. I'm going to try and do more and more of these, especially whilst uh, we wait for FS19 to come out. But thank you very, very much for joining me. Don't forget, instant gaming link in the description box down below if you want to get yourself FS19 or any game of your choice for less money, basically, for a good, cheap price. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.